So this interview today is with Marie Anderson here in Brighton, England. And Maria is my mother, and I'm here visiting. And so we've been talking about the library a lot lately and history. And mom, I'm very interested in how the library got started because as I remember, the building that it first got started in was a rental house, right? The, behind the post office? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, it, it, yeah. Jerry and I lived in there. When you first came to America? Yeah, and Jerry bought it. Mm -hmm. And then it became a rental house after I moved out, after we moved to the Two Point. To Lane Spit? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so for quite some time it was a rental house. Yes. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. For a number of years. And then. Until I did the library. Okay. In 80. So, did you seek that position, or was it brought up to you? How was it that it even came about? Did well, we have a library on well, the Well, Peter, I have to tell you something. We had a bookmobile that used to come. Yeah. I think it came every two weeks. I'm not quite sure of the date anymore. But all of a sudden, they stopped the bookmobile. And I was very, very upset about that because I used to love to get my books from there and also children's books for you and lots of older people who couldn't drive to Ferndale to the, to the library, they were kind of stuck. Yeah. And I was I was really upset about that. And then, now, was this before the beach, the little library in the Beach Street Cafe? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, then what happened was this lady who ran the beach store started taking books in, and she had a few shelves, not not very elaborate, mm -hmm. and um, in behind the counter, and you could go there and, and see if you had something that you wanted, if they had something that you wanted. Mm -hmm. Well, I kept thinking about the fact that we have this library, this library building, now, now library mm -hmm. building, this building behind the post office. Sure. That would make a perfect place for a library. Mm -hmm. And uh, I talked with Jerry first, and of course he was for it too. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the main, to Mr. Halliday, I think his name is Halliday. Yeah, John Halliday, director. Halliday, the director of the library, mm -hmm. and talked with him. That was, it was really well organized and, and received. You had a organization called Friends of the Island Library, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and did they come up with the funding needed? Uh, was there a small bit of rent to pay or materials to buy? Or no, we got a small rent from the from holiday. Mm -hmm. From the so there was a stipend county. from the county yeah. library system, yeah, but it wasn't uh -huh. much, and mm -hmm. I had my wages, and that's. That was all. Uh -huh. And we paid your electricity. Mm -hmm. Your dad and I paid the electricity and the mm -hmm. water, whatever was to be done on repairs and everything, we did that. Sure. And pay your so, property taxes. Yeah, all mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. We paid for it. Upkeep of the building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it was an older building, wasn't it? Yes. I it had, had burned down one time. It, it had burned inside mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before you came to the United States. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. So, according to this letter from John Halliday, the director, he wrote a letter of recommendation for you that you worked just under five years mm -hmm. between 1980 mm -hmm. and 1985. Mm -hmm. So 1980 would have been when your oldest son, Michael, had graduated and gone to college. Yes, mm -hmm. and Michael was a great help and instigator for the library. Oh, really? He he would often tell me about titles mm -hmm. and what the books were about, mm -hmm. and so that was a big help for me. How did the week-to-week -week, uh, management work? Did they bring 
like boxes of books out to exchange with you, or did you have to go into their facilities on Northwest Road? I during the week mm-hmm. I would take the books that were over that been in in the library for a long time wasn't weren't going or anything. Mm-hmm. I sort them out and put them in boxes, and then in my car, in the back of my car, uh-huh. and then. On my free day, I, w- I drove into the library in Ferndale mm-hmm. and exchanged those books. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that wasn't so easy because I had a really bad back and I had to lift all uh. those book boxes. So would you select the books to bring out or would they yeah, make no. some suggest- suggestions for you? Well, very few suggestions were made. Mm-hmm. I usually picked them out myself. Uh-huh. And during, uh, during the week... I would find out what's hot, what's mm-hmm. good, what is being read. Uh-huh. And I had requests from people, and I could fill those too. Mm-hmm. So. And at that time, it was all done by hand. There, was, there were no computers for no, you to use, right? No, mm-hmm. no computers whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the things I did, I, I knew people from the university mm-hmm. in Bellingham, that would come and support the children, a gift children pro- program. Mm-hmm. For instance, we had a, a, a man that would know all about tide pools and everything, so we mm-hmm. invited the children to come and be, be guided by this mm-hmm. professor. It was a professor to guide them, uh-huh. see what lives in, in the tide pools. Mm-hmm. You know, when the tide goes out, there are sure. these tide pools. And we had things like that. And you had access to the beach yes. right there, yes. correct? There was yes. a little bluff that went down yeah. to the beach. Yeah, we had the mm-hmm. beach, right? Mm-hmm. And they would just go down there. So, mm-hmm. you know, and when the tide is out, there's lots of room to uh, go walk and find things in the tide pools. Mm-hmm. So, so that was what. And then the other thing we did is show old films. Oh. And Don von Valkenburg would do that. In the library in itself? In the library. Set up a projector yeah. or anything? Yeah, yeah, in Fun. the main room. Yeah. Fun. Hmm. And then as far as children's programs from 1980 to 85, then um, did, did Beach School utilize the library too? Would there be field trips to the library or trips to the library for research? No, we didn't mm-hmm. have that. Mm-hmm. But we had Mrs. Peterson, a neighbor of ours. Uh-huh. She came and used to tell stories, uh-huh. read stories to the children, the smaller children. This would be Lois Peterson? Lois Peterson, yes. Mm. Yeah. So there was a story time with Lois. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And so, did you have others that worked with you in the library actually doing the job of checking out books and so on, or was it just you? One that was really big in helping was Kathy Scott. Oh. Kathy Scott was just like my right arm. Now, would this be Ed Scott's um, aunt, possibly, or Ed Scott, who's on the island now? Do you know? Ed Scott was a, a nephew of hers, okay. as far as I know. So she would be the aunt of Ed? Yeah. Aunt. Okay. Yeah. But Kathy Scott was a very old lady, retired, mm-hmm. and she was rather uh, deformed. Hunched over. Hunched over, mm-hmm. and, but she's very patient and very... If, if, I, if I had anything to talk Keep about... I, I would go and talk to Kathy. Nice. And she was almost a mom to me. And she lived almost next door to the library. Yeah, she right? did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She lived between our house and the library. Uh-huh. So and it was just absolutely fantastic having her. Yeah. You had approval from John Halliday to start a bigger library on the yes. island at that point. Yes. And yes. did you suggest that you would like to to be the um the person that ran it or 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I went to him and I, I told him that I have time and I uh-huh. could do that. And um, I also had people that would help me build the shelves. Nice. Like, um, oh, da, 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 Van Valkenburg. Van Valkenburg. Yeah. Um, Nesbit. Yeah, Dave Nesbit. Dave Nesbit, yeah. Excellent. And I know Molly's husband would help. Dave Harmony. Dave Harmony. Yeah, no, um, what's the, the, the manager, of, I said, what's uh, the name? John, John Halliday was the director. Uh, Polly Hansen's? Polly Hansen's husband. Oh, would yeah. Help. Was yeah. it Carl Hansen? Carl, yeah. Oh, I see. He would help. Uh-huh. And there were one or two other men that would help. Nice. They came in and built the shelves. Excellent. Yeah, and we talked about the um, the way we were going to run the library. Mm-hmm. And so they were nice. a big help for mm-hmm. me, really. One of the biggest one was probably Dave Nesbitt, mm-hmm. Dave and Charlotte. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, and it went from there. So it was really... Quite, quite a spacious building, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It mm-hmm. had one large room, the mm-hmm. living room, mm-hmm. full with bookshelves. Then there was a large bedroom, mm-hmm. was full with bookshelves, and the little bedroom was full with bookshelves. So as I recall, the little bedroom was the children's library. Yes. And yes. the big bedroom was for AV and yeah. maybe magazines, magazines and, and things such. like that. Yeah. Recordings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. 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 It had a little kitchen, as I recall. It had a little kitchen, mm-hmm. and it's. I wasn't just a librarian, I was also a tour guide or something, because when people came to the island mm-hmm. and didn't know where to go, they came into the library mm-hmm. and they got all sorts of information from me. Mm-hmm. And one day there was a lady, she came from the east, and one of her sons was working for Will Wright fishing, mm-hmm. and she couldn't find Will Wright, and they were out fishing at the time. Oh. And she was just done in the poor lady. Mm. And um, I sent her home to my house. And this is a house at North Nugent, across from the yeah. Petersons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I sent her home mm-hmm. to my house. She could take a shower and she could make herself something to eat because I couldn't leave the library, you see. Mm-hmm. I couldn't just shut it off and go. And she was forever thankful. So just a total stranger who came to the community. Yeah. You told her where the house was, yeah. which wouldn't have been locked up. No, it wasn't locked up. No, no, and just no. to help herself. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And she did. I bet she was grateful. Well, I tell you what, people are mostly honest, mm-hmm. I, I find. When they come to Lummi Island like that, that Mm -hmm. lady was totally honest. She Mm -hmm. was looking for her son, Mm -hmm. and I could identify with her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just said, well, go do that. So So, she did. mm -hmm. 